Top 10 Myths Stereotype About Africa Debunked Hello Displorers, welcome back to another informative video and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be debunking some very popular myths about the continent of Africa. The world continues to expand and develop in various magnificent ways. Computers now function like human brains, a cancer detecting pill exists and it's now possible to instantly communicate with people from different parts of the world due to video conferencing. There's no denying that humanity has evolved in remarkable ways, but there is still a great deal of inequality and misunderstandings that exist in society, especially on a global level. One vastly misunderstood place covers 6% of the Earth's surface and 20% of its land area, with more than 1.2 billion people calling it home. There are many myths about Africa that people throughout the world believe to be true. The truth is that these myths are rooted in misinformation, lack of knowledge and stereotypes. A danger to the advancement of society, stereotypes lead to the widespread beliefs of myths. Africa is a rich and diverse place. It encompasses more than 1,500 languages and 16% of the world's population. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. To better understand the breadth of this diversity, let's dissect 10 myths about Africa. Number 1. All Africans are poor. One common misconception of Africa include the ideas that everyone lives in poverty and there are no growing industries or opportunities. While it's true that in Sub-Saharan Africa, it is estimated that more than 280 million people live in extreme poverty, many people simply do not see past the statistics to gain a deeper understanding about the root of the problems. Furthermore, many people fail to understand that not every African country is poor and that Africa is, in fact, quite rich in many growing areas. There are many people and families who live luxuriously in Africa. In fact, there are more than 20 billionaires in Africa and hundreds of thousands of millionaires. When it comes to oil and gas potential, especially, Africa is not poor. In 2013, the majority of the global discoveries in the oil and gas sector were made in Africa and there are hundreds of companies surveying the area. Nine-tenths of Africa's annual production volume of gas is exported from Nigeria, Libya, Algeria and Egypt. While it still remains largely underexplored, Africa's potential for oil is positioned to grow significantly over the next two decades. The global market can change quickly, but there is evidence to support Africa's position as an oil and gas leader in the future. While some of the poorest countries in the world are located in Africa, it's worth noting that not every country in Africa is poor. Looking at the gross national product, there are a few wealthy countries in the continent, such as South Africa, Egypt, Seychelles, Mauritius with great living standards. Number 2. Africa is a country Funny as it may sound, a lot of people in the western world still believe Africa is a country. Well, that's far from the truth. Africa is a continent made up of 54 independent countries and it is the world's oldest populated area. Misconceptions of Africa often include the belief that it is its own country or made up of only a few countries. The continent of Africa is very vast and it is the second largest continent in the world. Of the nearly 200 independent countries on earth, a quarter of them are in Africa, where the population is more than 1.2 billion. Besides Ethiopia and Liberia, Africa was colonized by non-African countries. Many different countries including Germany and France claimed to rule part of Africa in what became known as a scramble for Africa. Over time, however, African countries began taking back their independence. After World War II, most African countries used the borders established by the non-African colonies to form the borderlines for their independent countries. The people of Africa's countries speak a great variety of languages, Arabic being the most popular with about 170 million speakers. Besides Arabic, the people of Africa speak English, Swahili, French, Portuguese, Spanish and many more languages. About 25% of the languages spoken in African countries weren't recognized anywhere else in the world which is a testament to its diversity and fullness. So contrary to the belief that Africa is a big country, well, it actually isn't. Number three, all of Africa is very cheap to live in. Well, while this might be true to an extent, there are actually some countries and cities which are extremely expensive to live in. Cities such as Luanda, N'Djamena and Yaoundé are quite expensive due to the high presence of expatriates. Decent hotels and accommodation in these cities aren't cheap at all. Traveling within Africa is way more expensive than traveling out of Africa. So if you are planning on doing an Africa tour and thinking moving within Africa is cheap, 
you better think again because you'll be shocked. Yes, on an average, Africa is cheap, but not as cheap as you think. Wild animals roam free on streets in Africa. It's strange for one to think and believe that wild animals roam free on the streets of African cities in this day and age. Yes, Africa is blessed with a lot of wildlife, but Africa's wildlife is confined to national parks and reserves. You are likely to see the old ostrich or baboon by the side of the road in southern Africa, but elephant, giraffe, lion and buffaloes no longer roam freely, except for certain areas of Namibia's Damara land. When it comes to wildlife, Africa has it in abundance, but these are found in some of the largest parks and reserves in the world, which happens to be found in Africa. Popular parks where you can see Africa's wildest beasts include the Kruger National Park, Serengeti National Park and the Mara Masai National Park. Number 5. Africa isn't safe. Negative associations and common misconceptions about Africa lead many people to falsely believe that all of Africa is unsafe to visit. Though there are parts of Africa that may not be recommended for foreigners to travel, that is not reflective of the continent as a whole. Global news tends to focus on the negative, so many people around the world only hear of the wars, disease and poverty that the continent has experienced. The news rarely covers anything about the emerging middle class in African countries or the beautiful locations on the continent. Of course, if you were to visit Africa, you would likely avoid certain locations, but there are plenty of perfectly safe locations to visit. The following places in Africa are popular for tourism, such as Mauritius and Seychelles with pristine beaches, South Africa and Egypt with beautiful cities, and Nigeria and Ghana with rich culture and friendly people, just to mention a few. Number 6. Lack of technology One of the most common ways of slighting or insulting an African on social media, like on sites like Twitter and Facebook, is by someone who has never been to the continent retorting, I didn't know they have internet in Africa, or I didn't know Africans use computers. This is derived from the common misconception that has been advanced for decades that the continent lags behind in technological advancement, or worse, that there is no availability of technology on the continent. When it comes to technology, Africa has almost everything the rest of the world does. Although we may be slightly behind, technology is fast growing on the continent. For instance, Africa is the fastest region when it comes to mobile growth. It is estimated that over 67% of the population on the continent have mobile phones, and 27% have a device that can access the internet. Simply put, 27% of the total population of Africa have many computers at their disposal. Africa is not only thriving on mobile technology and internet, but also other forms of technology which contribute immensely to the day-to-day -day life on the continent. Number 7. Africans need foreign aid Thanks to the media and well-meaning but damaging charity adverts that show sad, malnourished children with begging eyes, there's still a perception in the West that Africa is poor helpless and in need of superior help from foreign NGOs and charity organizations from the West. While it's great to want to positively impact the world, sometimes this view that Westerners have to come to Africa and fix Africa by doing charity work actually ends up perpetuating the cycle. If you really want to help, buy a ticket and visit. Spend your money in locally run guest houses, order from cafes, travel with taxi drivers, buy from storeholders and shop owners, get to know the locals, Break down those barriers, try to understand each other, you might learn a thing or two as well. Africa doesn't necessarily need foreign aid in order to survive, because with good management of African natural resources and innovation, the continent can be self-sufficient. Number 8. All Africans are dark-skinned A common stereotype is that all Africans are dark-skinned. This is not true. There are different skin pigments and tones and different shades of black for the different tribes and different regions around the continent. It is also important to note that there are also immigrants from other continents who have come to Africa many generations ago, and their descendants have settled on the continent ever since. A good example is South Africa, which is also called the Rainbow Nation because of the diversity it is known for when it comes to matters of skin color. Also, most countries in North Africa such as Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria and Libya comprise of people with white skin color yet they are still Africans. So not all Africans have a dark skin. Number 9. Africa is always hot Yes, the Sahara Desert is in Africa and it makes up about one third of Africa's landmass. This fact leads many people to think the majority of Africa is a sweltering hot and vast open land of emptiness. 
The truth, however, is that deserts aren't necessarily hot all the time, and much of Africa is not a desert. The northern part of Africa where the Sahara is located is called Northern Africa, and everything south of that is known as Sub-Saharan Africa. Here are a few facts about Africa's climate. It snows in Africa. There are ski resorts in Morocco and quite a few other African countries. Africa's high elevations experience snowfall, even those locations close to the equator. Locations in South Africa experience below freezing temperatures throughout the winter. The largest vegetation zone in Africa is savanna. People commonly mistake Africa as one gigantic desert. The truth is that Africa contains deserts, rainforests, mountains, and savannas. A savanna is a grassy plain with only a few trees, and it's often found in tropical and subtropical regions. Many people accurately describe the African savanna as rolling grasslands dotted with trees. The temperature variation is vast. Africa is large, therefore it's difficult to make any generalizations about the continent as a whole. There are, of course, changes in seasons and many different countries with different elevations. This makes it difficult to provide an average temperature. Asking for an average temperature in Africa would be like asking for the average temperature for North America and half of South America combined. Number 10. All Africans are corrupt. There's a shared misconception that every aspect of African politics is fueled by corruption and deceit. It's true that the continent has experienced its share of corrupt leadership, but it's also true that Africa has experienced some noteworthy leadership. Just like any other continent, there are good people as well as there are bad and corrupt people. That all Africans are corrupt is false. Nelson Mandela, former president of South Africa, was an anti apartheid politician and revolutionary who earned the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. Three women, two of them being Africans, won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011. Leima Bowie from Liberia and President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia were awarded the honor of their work in spearheading the women's peace movement that led to the conclusion of the Second Liberian Civil War. Africa's youngest entrepreneurs are relentless when it comes to making continued progress. They are dedicated to persistent positive change and the people of Africa will undoubtedly continue to develop. There you have it, explorers. Those were 10 myths and misconceptions about Africa that are not true. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.